Welcome to the R video tutorial on multiple linear regression in R. All right, so what we're going to do is extend simple linear regression to multiple linear regression. Now, the data set we're going to use for this is called the Cherry Tree uh, data set, cherrytree.csv. It's linked in the repository below, so why don't you go grab it and then maybe pause the video right now while you grab it, get it ready, and then we're going to use this code to read it in. So let's do that right now. Run this. And you can see our data here. We can open it up real quick. It has diameter, height, and volume. Volume is our output. Height is our one of our inputs. Diameter is one of our inputs. So what we want to do is extend simple linear regression to multiple linear regression in the simplest sense here. All right. So before we get too far, let's make some plots. So let's make some pictures. Okay. So I'm going to plot here tree one dollar sign diameter and tree one dollar sign volume remember volume is our dependent variable so it's the one we want on our y-axis so if i do this real quick you can see that there is a very strong relationship between these two very strong so diameter looks like it might be a good predictor of volume we'll do the same thing for our height so copy and paste is your friend and using the tool tips we can get this run this code and you'll notice that this relationship isn't as strong here but it is a pretty good relationship uh just note that the heights aren't incredibly you know uh big here so let's keep going here uh, one of the things we could do is the pairs plot, and this will do the plots that we did above all at once. So we get diameter, height, volume, and you can see the relationship between them, and they look pretty good. Uh, we have a really strong relationship, and then we have somewhat strong relationship. So let's first run a simple model. So run simple linear regression model, SLR models. So let's do, I'm gonna call this mod one. It'll do LM. I'm going to have here volume, tilde, and I'm gonna be interested in the diameter first, and our data is equal to our tree one. And then I'm going to do a summary on mod one. We just wanna see how well this works by itself. I run this and I see here what I'm really interested in is this R squared. The adjusted R squared is 0 0.9331. So we're explaining about 93% of the variation by using diameter as a predictor for volume. That's pretty good. Uh, let's copy and paste this. And I'm just going to swap out diameter with height. Hopefully I can spell it right. And then I'm going to switch this to mod 2. And let's run this one and see what we get for an R squared. Okay, so the adjusted R squared is 0.3358, so not nearly as good as using diameter. But what happens if we could use them simultaneously? And that's where multiple linear regression comes in. All right, let's go run the multiple linear regression model now. Okay, so this is different than multivariate linear regression. Just keep that in mind. Multiple linear regression means we have multiple predictors and one response. Multivariate regression means we have multiple responses and a variety, could be one or could be more, predictors. Okay, so we're going to use the LM function again here. LM. Still going to use volume just like before. Tilde. And I'm going to use diameter. And then all I need to do is put a plus sign and then height. Okay, the plus sign goes between each variable as long as it's on the right side of the tilde. Uh, our data is tree one. And then I'm going to do a summary on mod three. So here we go. Let's run this thing. All right, so now we can see the adjusted R square went up. We're at 0 0.9442. So we're explaining about 94% of the variance just with these two predictors, diameter and height. Okay, so we can come up here and look at the coefficients. Now, the coefficients need to be interpreted correctly, and this can be difficult. 
Okay, so for diameter, this means that if we don't change the height, just the diameter, effect of the diameter alone when height is held constant, we have, if we increase the diameter by one inch, we expect to have four square feet of additional, or cubic feet, of additional volume in the tree. Okay, so if we increase the diameter by one inch, we expect a four cubic feet increase in the volume of the tree so long as the height stays the same, okay? Now, so long as the diameter stays the same, for every one inch increase in height, or actually one foot increase in height, we get a 0.3393 square foot or cubic foot increase in volume. Okay, and that's dependent on the diameter staying the same. Okay, so this is how you treat these very carefully. Hopefully you're taking a class where they talk about how to interpret these uh, coefficients and that you can interpret them correctly. If you look at the p-value, you can see diameter is really significant. And depending on your significance level, height may or may not be significant. But this is a simple way to fit a multiple linear regression model. Now this is part one, and we're going to move on to part two where we'll figure out how to uh, plot or not plot, but fit polynomials and other functions. All right, so we're going to move on to the next video.